Welcome to Port St. George, your all-inclusive entry point to our picturesque capital St. George's and a gateway to the rest of our parish and island paradise. Step into an alluring mix, a place of history, a place of music, a place of food, a place of color, a place of bacchanal and so much more. But have no fear, your tour guides are here. As you leave our lovely esplanade, we'll take a walk through Sendal Tunnel, erected since 1894, and hewn from the hills separating Moncton Street and Bruce Street. Sendal Tunnel was built for horse and carriages, but today it is a constant access way for vehicles and pedestrians alike. Located above Sendal Tunnel are two historical locations. Our General Hospital and Fort George ground zero of the traumatic events that killed Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and the People's Revolution in 1983. Hmm. But that's another story for another day. Here we are on the Carinage, a picture of calm water, colorful buildings and a vista like no other. Though it's changed over the years, some landmarks will forever remain either visible or embedded in memory. Like the Empire Cinema Building, where my parents and others got their first taste of movies on the big screen before the cinema was moved to Regal in Tantine and now Movie Palace in Grand Dance. We'll grab a light bite at Nutmeg Restaurant, gazing out on the water and discussing many of the unique neighborhoods in town, like the long steps on Cooper Hill and Green Street. And then we'll cut through to Scott Street for a trek up to Lucas Street and down to Market Hill because we can't leave St. George's without supporting our vendors in the colorful, lively and diverse St. George's Market Square. On our way, we'll pass by Church Street and taking peeping glances towards Old Fort and Four Roads and Cockroach Alley, all the spots that make our town of St. George's unique. Grabbing a nice coconut water and tasty coconuts and cocoa and nutmeg sweets and so much more, like the signature spices, cinnamon and clove and aniseed. Ah, I could smell it. You get everything you want? Okay, let's take a stroll to the bus terminal, grab our roast corn and catch a chartered bus up the western side to our St. George Northern Tip, Brazan. Once you spot the old green bridge, you know you're leaving town and you're passing Queen's Park, home to Karani James Stadium, nestled cozily between the hills of Dabo and Symmetry Hill and bounded by the river road. Each little village in St. George is unique. Today, we can cut across from the western side to our northeast villages of Bellevue and take a quick visit past our waterfalls in Annadale, past Willis and up to Vendum, home of the Jab Jab King, Talbri. Where the Jab Jab day? And when we come back down through Bolio, passing places like Breadfruit Corner, Boca and La Mode, when we reach Mungi and pass Caribbean Agro Industries, we'll keep left of the roundabout, passing the new and the old coke factories, and head through Tempe and Mount Panassas, busting out in parade for a quick trip to St. Paul's and Labory and all our southeast villages. Man, St. George's have so many nooks and crannies that as we head back, we could run up Richmond Hill and Manjulu and snack on some fresh prison bread before taking the back roads through Marianne and Woburn to Granans to take a quick dip on the world-renowned white sandy Granans Beach. I tell you, the parish of St. George, we are not the biggest, but we the most talawa, no matter what they tell you. Anyway, Let's rush back to your boat here. We'll pass through Belmont, Lagoon Road, up the lane, and down Lucas Street and Church Street back to the port. Just know next time you come to Grenada is an eight-day cruise. 
one day for each of the other parish, but for St. George's, you must need 